Every once in a while, I catch a fish that looks like this, covered in black dots that seem to be embedded in the skin and fins. These dots are caused by a parasitic fluke or trematode called neascus, and these flukes cause a condition called black spot disease. The disease infects a large number of fish species, but seems to be especially common in fishes that hang around the bottom or around dense vegetation like northern pike, suckers, dace, yellow perch, shiners, chubs, and others. These are areas that tend to host a lot of snails, which are important in the life cycle of this parasite. These free-swimming flukes embed themselves in the skin of a fish until the fish is eaten by a water bird, like a heron, which provides the proper environment for the fluke to develop into an adult within the gut of the bird. Those adults then produce eggs, which are expelled from the bird in its waste. Any eggs landing in the water will hatch, and those newly hatched flukes will seek out a snail to begin their life cycle in. After several weeks, the fluke is now in a stage called a cercaria, which is free swimming and begins seeking out a fish host to continue its development and repeat the cycle over again. The parasite itself has no color. The fish's body responds to the parasite burrowing into the skin by producing a barrier of melanin around it. The black pigment of the melanin gives the spots their color, and the layers of melanin can cause the spots to stick out slightly from the body of the fish. These parasites are a natural part of the ecosystem and there's no need to kill a fish simply because they're infected or attempt to scrape the parasites out of the fish. This won't make any difference in the Neascus population and would probably harm the fish more than just leaving the parasites alone. Neascus is generally harmless to the fish except in extreme cases. It is safe to eat a fish that's been infected with black spot disease. Most of the flukes can be removed by simply skinning the fillet. Any flukes that are in the meat itself will die when it's frozen or cooked, so they pose no threat to humans eating the meat. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.